Well, the president spent several hours last night in Mississippi on a mission to hold on to the last U.S. Senate seat to be decided this year. He led two campaign rallies for the Republican senator who faces a runoff election today. Ed O'Keefe is in Ridgeland, Mississippi, just north of the state capital of Jackson. Ed, good morning. Good morning, Biana. Voters will be casting ballots at sites like this one in the final congressional race of the year. This runoff election has been focused mostly on controversial comments by the sitting Republican senator, but President Trump showed up last night and tried to make things a little more about himself. Other than the blonde hair, when I was growing up, they said I looked like Elvis. President Trump was clearly enjoying himself in a series of rallies. One even had a Christmas theme. There's nothing like a Trump rally, do we? But he had a serious goal proving he still has the magic touch for vulnerable Republicans. I can only make so many stops, and today I'm making three of them. So he didn't dig too deeply into the central issues of the contest here, instead delivering a speech that sounded more like the messages that worked at the 45 total campaign rallies he led for Republicans this year. Now you have a president who is standing up for America. We're, We're standing, standing up, up for, for Indiana. Mississippi. But this Mississippi contest isn't just any election. GOP Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith is facing scrutiny for racially charged incidents, including comments in a video from earlier this month. For anyone that was offended for my, by my comments, I certainly apologize. On Monday, she gave her last push. I will continue to stand up for the conservative values of Mississippi. Democratic candidate Mike Espy has hammered her on the comments. I think they are disappointing. It gives us a black guy again in this state. But facing long odds in a red state, he's trying to win over moderate Republicans and independents. Is, is there a place where you agree with the president and where you might find disagreement with him? I'm an independent person, and I'll be an independent senator. I will do whatever I think is best for Mississippi. Now, Mississippi hasn't elected a Democrat to the U.S. Senate since 1982, so a win by Mike Espy here would be a shocker. But if Hyde-Smith pulls it off as expected, the GOP majority in the Senate would grow to 53 seats. Gail? Well, the country's watching this one. Thank you very much, Ed.